trying to get it right inside. A good one too. Look at that. There we go. Right in the mat. I don't know. He's close to four maybe. Maybe three and a half. Feels really heavy. He was just right in there. Right in that heavy mat. So he's just a little guy. I'm gonna let him go. Big bullet weights used to be gigantic, but tungstens brought them down to size. Two, one and a half, and one ounce are really manageable. These weights plus all this stuff is all you need. It's the basic punching gear. Rigging's easy. Start with the bobber stop, then the big weight. And man, guys love those punch skirts. Picking a hook? Don't get one so gigantic. Three out or four out is best, and make sure it has a keeper. It's really good for the bait. Talking about baits, there's so many to choose from. They all kind of look like craws or creature baits. I like the slimmest profile for slipping through the grass. Right-handed or left-handed reels makes no difference to me. I like a bigger reel to match a big rod for when I really gotta yank them and winch them in. On the grass flats or where the weeds aren't so thick, I like a slim profile reel and a little lighter action rod. It's just easier to fish and you can still whack them as best you can. Regardless of what reel you use, I strongly recommend colored braided line. It will detect any slight bite. No matter what, you'll see it. If you're worried that these lines are too bright, Run a dark marker to camouflage the first couple feet. 